Chat GPT has exploded onto the scene. Yeah, uh, you know what, can I, can I see that story? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're not gonna do this. We don't have time for this today. <laughs> um, Christine, we wanna take a moment to recognize a milestone. Oh. Okay, are you aware of what it is? I think I might know. Okay, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, this month marks 20 years at KDK for That's Christine Sorensen. We're delighted you've had such a wonderful career here. And we thought that instead of doing this story, Aww. we would spend a few minutes taking a walk down memory lane. Check oh it out. Oh my goodness, surprise. It looks like a mess right now, but volunteers are here 60 to 70 hours a week working to make sure that it looks better than ever for Jessica's homecoming. When Christine Sorensen walked into KDKA on April 2nd, 2003, she hit the ground running, covering one of the biggest stories in the world at the time, the rescue of American soldier Jessica Lynch, who'd been captured and held as a POW in Iraq. Just weeks after arriving here, Christine was sent on assignment to Lynch's hometown, about two hours south of Pittsburgh in Wirt County, West Virginia. Jessica Lynch will be arriving here in Elizabeth, West Virginia, just a few miles from her home in Palestine. It's believed she'll be landing by helicopter here on her high school football field where she graduated just a few years ago. Then she went back there a few months later when Lynch finally came home. The streets of Elizabeth are quiet once again. The rain is dampening all of these ribbons, but it's not washing away the glow of excitement left over from Jessica's homecoming. Christine was originally hired as a nightside reporter and weekend evening anchor, paired with Don Cannon. Good evening. We'll get to our top stories of the night in just a moment. But first, we've got some winter weather advisories to tell you about. After three years on the weekends, she moved to weekdays, and on May 1st, 2006, began co-anchoring KDK TV News at 5 with me. That's right. Let's check in with meteorologist. With 17 years together on the anchor desk, Christine and I are now Pittsburgh's longest serving news anchor team. We've covered countless major stories together, including field anchoring the funeral of the three Pittsburgh police officers killed in Stanton Heights in 2009. Yeah, it is an historic time here in Pittsburgh, expected to be the largest procession and the largest memorial service ever in the city of Pittsburgh. For more than a decade, Christine was also the host of Pittsburgh Today Live, often with John Burnett at her side. We are talking about one of uh, my favorite events of the year on today's show. Yes, it's one of my favorite events, actually. That's right. I just read your line, didn't I? <laughs> And of course, for several years, Christine worked here alongside her husband, Marty Griffin. They even hosted PTL together once. Hi, honey. It's fun to have you here. It's a kiss. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's never happened before. <laughs> this is exciting. We've talked about doing this probably since we met. Oh, there's no question. And there's a reason why we have it. I mean, there's, I have a talk show on the radio right. at 9 o'clock. I have watched her show every single day since she started. Now, Christine joins Marty once a week on his morning show with Larry Richard on KDK Radio. Over the course of her 20 years here, Christine has won many awards, including an Emmy in 2019 for her Kidsburg series. And just last year, she was one of only five people in our entire company to win a Paramount Impact Award for her dedication to community service. However, all of us here know that Christine's biggest award is her family. She and Marty welcomed all three of their children during her time here, Sophia in 2004, Chloe in 2007, and Vincent in 2010. But we're also glad she's a part of our family, the KDKA family, for 20 years now and counting. Wow, it's like I watched myself grow up on TV. You Thank have, you so you much. You have not changed, seriously. Well, you're sweet. You have not aged a bit. I've done the aging for both of us. Well, and that's my <laughs> gift to you. It's been an amazing 20 years. I can't believe like how much my life has changed in 20 years, you know? Yeah. It's like a kid when I started. It's it's flown by. For 17 of those years, right here, I'm yes, taking yes, five. It's been yes. my privilege. And mine too. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It's yeah. been wonderful. All right. Very kind. That, that was, was a surprise. I loved it. We Thank pulled you. it off. You yeah. really did. I had absolutely no idea. For those of you who are looking forward to that chat GPT story, <laughs> sorry. Chat GPT has had its moment. You do not know how I was threatened. It was like, you do not mess up this surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Cause, cause Good I'm job. The one who would do it. But no, congratulations Thank on 20 years. Thank you so much. I really great appreciate work that. For my small time here. Oh, uh, man, you've uh, made it a lot more fun. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We'll do it again on the 40th. Okay. Right. There you go. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to be 50 by then. But anyway.